37 visits of space shuttles to this complex beginning with Endeavour in December of 1998 on the STS-88 mission that was commanded by the now director of the Kennedy Space Center, Bob Cabana. That was uh, the joining of the uh, Zarya module that had been launched a month earlier from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Unity connecting node or node one that uh, still exists as the juncture between the U.S. and Russian segments of the International Space Station. The three spacewalks by Jerry Ross and Jim Newman helped assemble those modules to set the stage for the flights that would follow. The first docking of Atlantis to the International Space Station came in May of 2000, two months prior to the launching of the Zvezda service module, the first living quarters for the International Space Station. The STS-101 mission, commanded by Jim Halsell, delivered one and a half tons of supplies, refurbished electrical, environmental, and communication systems in both Zarya and Unity, and uh, delivered uh, the Expedition 2 crew to the complex, Jim Voss, Susan Helms, and Yuri Usachov. Atlantis now beginning to move uh, to a position uh, behind the space station, maintaining a radial distance of about 685 feet or so. The fly around uh, going very well, and all of the space station systems looking good.